For those of you who follow my channel knows, OneNote is my go-to note-taking application. In this video, I'll share some of the reasons for my choice and share my thoughts on why I think OneNote is the best choice for most professionals and students. Before I go on, I do want to preface this video by acknowledging that how you take notes and what tools you use is a highly personal choice based on your specific needs. I'm only sharing my personal opinion for general note taking and that may apply to general users. Of course, I welcome your opinion and feedback in the comments below. With that out of the way, let's get started. Time tested. There are many note taking applications available to us today with new ones popping up all the time. And no doubt, some of these applications bring new features and innovation that's really cool and interesting. And few of these even get endorsed by popular influencers and YouTubers and gain a large following quickly. But trends and fads ultimately fade, and only a handful of apps ultimately remain as viable long-term options, providing regular updates and support. So the cost of selecting the wrong note-taking app can really be high. Not only do you end up investing a lot of time learning a tool, all of your notes, especially if they're stored in proprietary format, can be complicated to export out to another note-taking app. OneNote was released in November 2003, almost 20 years ago as of this video recording. And it's supported by Microsoft, the largest software company in the world. And while apps like Notion seem super popular with everyone talking about them these days, OneNote actually has the biggest market share in terms of user base. All this is to say that this app isn't going away anytime soon, so the time you invest to learn how to use this tool will be time well spent. And the notes you store in this platform will be good for many years to come. Simple and user-friendly design. OneNote is simply designed to capture, organize, and retrieve notes. Its notebook is structured in a straightforward, linear format that mirrors a traditional notebook. So it's easy and intuitive to learn and use for most people. Some of the other popular note-taking apps these days have too many features and have too big of a learning curve. It's a double-edged sword. While they are feature-rich and offer tons of flexibility and customization with use of blocks, databases, and plugins, for everyday users who simply want to take notes for meetings or classes, tools like this can be overly complicated. Not only does it require time to learn these tools, it takes time to organize and maintain them as well. You have to assess how much time are you taking on the tool itself versus to engage with the actual information you've captured. Cross-platform compatibility. OneNote is available across virtually all platforms. Whether you're using a Windows PC, a Mac, an iPhone, or even an Android phone, you can take and retrieve notes from any device. Now it's not perfect. There's a lot of confusion with different versions of OneNote having different user interfaces and different features but Microsoft is taking steps to unify the experience. For example, for Windows OS, we now have a single OneNote app versus having a separate, the classic 2016 desktop version and a Windows 10 version. Integration with Microsoft 365 suite of products. If you use Microsoft 365 as part of your business or school, I really think it's a no brainer. OneNote's integration with other Microsoft products, especially Outlook and Teams, can really help simplify your workflow on how you capture, organize, and share your notes with Teams. And managing access rights to share notebooks becomes straightforward as well. Free to use. And Microsoft OneNote is free to download and use. All of the features are available for everyone. It doesn't lock advanced features behind monthly subscription plans, and there are no tiers like basic and pro versions. And yes, up until recently, the desktop version was part of the Microsoft 365 subscription plan, while the Windows 10 version came installed with the OS for free. But now, with the unified OneNote app, it's free and available for everyone. So those were my five reasons for choosing OneNote as my primary tool for note-taking. I hope you found this video insightful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more contents like this. And if you want to learn more about using OneNote, check out these videos next.